what's up this is Higgs repping Vomitus Talk NP One Out Street Battles New Zealand shout outs to One Out Melbourne what's up Scholar ODT Dirty Outfit 274 yeah. all day One Out Street Battles shout out to NBA Jersey Collectors uh, Sons of Moms Mad War for me to become one ounce champion, if I win this next battle, that means that I've won seven battles in a row. Um, I'm planning to make the move to Aussie. You know, um, I'm gonna post up in Sydney, maybe battle in Melbourne. I'm willing to pretty much battle anybody. Like I don't have really have a list in my mind of people I want to battle. You know, if Spearman says battle the sky. Then I'll battle and you know, if someone offers me a battle, I'll you know most likely take it. You know, I don't really care. Really. Didn't know that a battle league even existed in New Zealand, so we kinda of made a pact, a dirty outfit, you know, which I go in and see you can see you can become champ. I even I remember I suggested we should have a tournament ages ago. So it means heaps to me, I really want it. So like hopefully um, you know, win this battle coming up and just, you know, maintain being the champion of one else and get some international battles, you know. I suppose the next logical step would be to start getting some battles in Australia, you know. See, see where I can take it from there. I think, I don't think he's going to retire for it, even if I do beat him. He's, you know, he's gotten famous again, kind of thing. He's been battling since 02. And like one ounce is getting bigger now, so a lot more people have heard of Higgs. So I'll be I'll be on the team this crap. What will you do with the prize money if you win? Um I'll buy a wig and a walking stick. Seriously. Probably go towards getting my passport and paying off my fine before I go I guess. <laughs> yeah. control his anxiety and adrenaline but fear can't be controlled by modern medicine he's so scared his piss hitting the urinal sounds feminine his lack, of, his lack of confidence on top of his incompetence his white pussy isn't listed in his latest accomplishment see i had a little chat with nina mercy that's quad damages x if you haven't heard yet i shouldn't have to repeat that he's bisexual but just to recap He's the ganger that seems to spend a lot of time on his kneecaps. Ah. Either, either getting a dude's D's waxed or crying from D&D's raps. Still his good <laughs> game compared to yours is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> See, cause Nina isn't an easy target, just ask Marcus. Hardest battle he's been in was getting into her undergarments. <laughs> 
Why are you doing this? To be fair though, his game ain't the sharpest. Ever since his baby mama broke his heart, he's been off the market. Oh, oh shit. The poor bastard. The poor bastard. The slut's name is Ra Ra. Every orgasm she had, poker face. Call her Lady Gaga. Oh, Look, she's a, she's the model. I should call her one day. The slut can strut up and down on these nuts like a runway. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> you might think about sleeping with women. The goalkeeper's balls were denied like Nina played his position. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and your daughter, bro? She's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Stop scamming on women for her sake. She doesn't deserve this whole shit. Oh. Time, oh. Foster. Oh. Can I first say, I hate this jerk's face in the worst way. I hope your mother dies a week before her next birthday. Oh. That's not just wordplay, and yeah, I know it's unpleasant, but on the bright side, you won't have to pay for the cunt's present. Best believe I ain't here to say safe here and play fair. I came to plant a bomb inside your baby cousin's daycare. Oh. Smash your auntie's back door in at six in the morning. Then Dawn raid her asshole when I force my pork sword in. When you bone your missus, that's like a photo finish. Two animals real close, but barely an inch in it. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Yo, over half of your family are overweight with swollen weights, like house guests that won't go away, yo, they overstayed. <laughs> to summarise my first 12 bars, fuck your family. I'll reverse time and turn your family tree into a bag of seeds. The first time we bailed, nobody would back me. They labelled it the people's champion versus a has-been. You let the people down and it was shown you couldn't match me. I'll prove the fact that I'm one of the dopest that there has been. Oh! Fans can see you get slayed again like I replayed it. Your defeat gets repeated like a glitch in the Matrix. Oh. If you don't find the right line, you're not gonna make it. Fuck Neo, I'm the one about to leave this agent faceless. Oh. 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 You're judged as weak and senseless when I read the sentence. You get punished for a second time like repeat offenders. <laughs> you cannot defeat this. I'm devious and freakish. Today you get beats again like the vocals for a remix. Oh. <laughs> Since the last beat of the sky, he's been having sleepless nights. Can't find peace of mind dealing with the fear inside. The thought of Higgs has him short of breath and feeling shaky. He doesn't want to face me because he fears for his safety. That's the truth, kid. And that's why he ducked out two on two twice, then made weak excuses. Oh. Say goodbye when I start to speak, I cause a heat wave. I'm hot headed. Molten lava pumps inside of these veins. My mouth releases flames. You can get, get charged him, first. Get him, Second half bloodline yeah, of fire and catch up. another. <laughs> Yo, yeah. my mouth releases flames. You can get charred first. Step in my bloodline of fire and catch another case of heartburn. Oh! oh. oh. I hope I hope he doesn't bring up exceed in the flag and how we should have been beating the fag. Don't expect that shit from me and the fam. See, we don't beat on geeks needlessly, man. Yeah. The way you reacted to Dean downing you about Nina was bad. Hey. See, D and D pressed his buttons and he reacted. You you think that he took the New Zealand flag and pissed on the Union Jack, but yeah. See, you threw a ream of paper at Dean. That was whack shit. <laughs> to his surprise, the little guy didn't even step backwards. <laughs> even your boy stepped him. Fuck, he's 5'3". If he and he isn't scared of your team, then why the fuck should I be? Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Oh. Yeah. You fucking wolf. Half your style is tough talk. But when it's time to grow hands, this little old man comes up short. Yeah. All he talks about is knives he doesn't have and how he likes to slice and stab. I can't stand the damn lies from this man. Uh, I'm not a killer, so why would you play the part for? Keeping up the facade like Bruce Willis and Die Hard 4. <laughs>
shout out to the I'll stab you with a shard to break off your glass jaw and bounce you off the walls in this bar like parkour. If you're a killer, what happened to Ginger Minx? <laughs> True story, a guy grabbed his ass and winked, left his cheeks prick. He's the one who calmed him down. Instead of fighting, he ran across the road waving his fucking arms around. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitch! Listen up, listen up! He punched, he, look, he punched the fence with a clenched fist because he, he was defenseless. When his boys asked what happened, he said he swung for the fences. <laughs> Teach you that boards don't hit back. Get the tough back, you nutsack, before you get your shit text. If you want to retire with your dignity intact, revoke the lies from all your shit tracks and spit facts. You get yep. that? You don't, yeah. you don't want to make the smell burst. If you want to feed them more lies, then give them a thousand dollars worth. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Higgs. Get it. I'm a very heavy rhymer. This English hooligan will put you in a fucking coma. Really? Like Jesse Ryder. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. You can find him on K Road on a sex toy shopping spree. This scholar is obviously addicted to suppositories. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain this guy's idea of hard work, wearing a grass skirt and pole dancing till his ass hurts. Grab. Fuck. Fuck up. Seriously. Work hard, you never do. You just claim a benefit. You're such a pessimist, even your bank account is negative. If he says he works hard, I bet 50 cent that he's lying. You won't never get rich. You'll just die oh. without trying. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Your yeah. mind's a limited source exerting minimal force. Yeah, My brain's a mainframe containing infinite thoughts. Mm. You're a high school dropout. I'm a uni graduate. Your mind's like LL's career, damaged by cannabis. Kids, you'll never get a scholarship to do law. In the future, you'll be mopping floors at the local food court. <laughs> this scholar went to special school with retards and vegetables. My special school was filled with mutants and extraterrestrials. I attended Professor X's school for the gifted, training them in the danger room with superhuman misfits. It's a fuck weapon X. I'm the beast you shouldn't step to. This juggernaut will bring the storm and drown you in the dead pool. You should turn to metal like Colossus's skin Cause in the rap game you're mad lame, you're not gonna win Scholar vs Crude was like watching a cat fight Two pussies throwing weak punches that didn't land right oh. 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 Wait, hold up, wait, even Crude, even Crude said that beating me is something that you'll fail to do. Face the truth, your own flesh and brother lacking faith in you. You're not a heavy yeah. challenger, you're very amateur. Get slain when I'll swing blades. Machete massacre. Yeah. Against me, you can't wow. cut it. My words are the sharpest. Your style is faker than a garment sold at Otara Market. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Weak attempts at personals. This rapper isn't worthy. I'll leave this motherfucker extinct like the raptor on his jersey. Oh. Hey, I ain't the fucking one B. Don't try and play me like Urkel. You can't decide between red and blue. That's why you came here rocking purple. Oh. Oh. Yes, definitely. I'm the baddest in this week scene. This rapper couldn't beat me. That's the freshest shit I ever saw you wear, homie. And that shit was a freebie. Oh, time! Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Round three! Scholar! Look, how the hell 
as Higasus, my arch nemesis. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this joke would have got smoked by both of my apprentices. Yo, I'll end this pommy yes, bag. I'm a venomous yo. body bag pommy. specialist. Ooh, ooh. Best believe I'll have a grand in my hand when I leave the premises. Yo, see, yeah. I'm only new to the scene and see, you've been here since its genesis. My name is spreading like a disease. You've seen the evidence. Oh. To defeat me, believe me, you need intelligence. For like 11 years now, you've been irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> Too. I've only been here for a year and just to get here, look at what you've had to go through. Oh, you took the long and winding yep. path like Goku. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he can't be the hero looking like Krillin as an old dude. <laughs> I told you, you're past your prime. I'm a mastermind. How am I ahead of you when I'm only at the starting line? Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Check it out, I'll cause Mark's demise with a higher class of rhyme that makes all stars align like dunks from Vince Carter's prime. Oh. Imagine the disappointed look in his father's eyes when this bastard cries Cause his ass can't claim the prize that he's worked towards since his career came to rise He hasn't made a dime, that's the cause of all his pain inside yeah. Yeah. This is truly do or die for you He even announced on Facebook that if he loses he'll retire too You have more important things to aspire to You've had your time to try, you have a daughter that requires you yeah. Prove that I can do anything in less than half the time it took this guy to do. In 11 years, look back, look back at what happened here. When you're walking your daughter down the aisle, happy I ended your fucking rap career. You know I sparked the freeze hardest? Bro, you do remind me of Vince Carter. No way. The fucking R&B artist. Bro, you've got the weakest flow. Answer me this question. Was I irrelevant when I kicked your ass about a year ago? Oh. <laughs> Try spitting one line, I'll stick my foot so far up your ass, my shoelaces will leave you tongue tied. <laughs> oh! I'll break language barriers with every spoken lyric. I'll shatter your voice box and leave you speaking broken English. Oh. Another, another question I have to ask is Were you born a fake gangster rapping actress? Or did it take years of practice? Oh. Bullshit, you chat lots. You don't keep the gats cocked, you only aim and shoot the cannon when you're taking snapshots. Oh. <laughs> This toy soldier ain't equipped for war. You couldn't empty a big barrel if you fathered in a liquor store. <laughs> he grips the eagle on point like Larry Bird when he shoots. Now nah, you're wing defense, shooting something that you'll never do. I didn't want a rematch. It wasn't my decision. Anyone can see us one-sided like a pirate's vision. Fuck crimes. Yeah. Fuck crimes. I'll take a knife, make five incisions, then widen every slice and stick ignited fireworks in them. Oh. When the colored spark stops spitting out the razor slits, I'll nail him to a wall and punch his face until I break my fist. You ain't a true gangster on the streets causing anarchy. Yeah, you wear a red rag once a month when your fanny bleeds. Oh. <laughs> Your blood ties are a fantasy. I'm Rambo with the red pen. I'll draw first blood if you challenge me. You see, my flows are aquatic. I'm like H2O, sorta, because I'm smarter. And we all know that blood's thicker than water. I'll wrap my fist in gauze, glue, and glass like Van Damme did. Fist from Mrs. Till I get snapped. Cool red handed. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
fucking up. Keep going when you shut up. Yeah. Respect for them C's, please. Yeah. 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 Relax, kid. That chick I wouldn't think about fucking. Her last name might be Swan, but she's a real ugly duckling. <laughs> Times are going over, bro, because I have to stop for your fucking cheerleaders, bruv, yeah? Oh, shit. Bro, you pass the big pen, I'll stab him in the neck with it. Pass the big razor, I'll carve my name into his chest with it. Pass the big lighter, I'll heat up the end of it until it's clogging rather than I'll melt his fucking flesh with it. Yeah, your bars are weak, son. I don't feel none. You can stay the people's champion. I'll be the fucking real one. Shout outs, bro. That was amazing. Straight the fuck up. I'm actually blown away. Like I was going, I was going in that shit. Like one kind would say some shit, and I was like, he's got it. And then the next kind would say something, I was like, he's got it. Like, it was so fucking close, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to fucking just say that I'm gonna give it to Higgs from round one and round three. Scholar definitely took the second. It was so close. I, I feel fucking sad, like voting voting against one of the because I love them both so much, bro. Fucking mad thing, but I'm gonna give it to Higgs. Bro, straight up. Sorry, Scholar. Fucking. Yo! Sat the man, Kamasuda. Fuck, what a battle. Man, I just want to say whatever goes down, whatever the end decision is, just both of the cats came hard and they fucking both deserve a grant to me. But, um, fortunately, I have to make a decision and it comes down to a couple of things. For me, the intensity of the crowd reaction was the sort of differentiating point between Higgs and Scholar to me. I think Higgs, when he dropped his punchlines, the crowd just blew up. And I'm not saying Scholar didn't do the same for some of his um, punchlines, but not nearly as many. So I think, like, as, as battlers, they're pretty much exactly on the same par, but just on terms of how they work the crowd and Higgs sort of, you know, was more calmer in it and, like, just waited for the fucking boom, like, tension to build. So I think he had he had just the edge, so I'm going to have to give it to Higgs. But Scholar, you were the fucking man. I'm so proud of both of you guys. I'm proud of fucking d and Spearman and the whole one ounce team and shit. Um, fuck yeah! Woo! Championship Edition one out. Scholar vs. Higgs. One thousand dollar battle. Um, well, very hard to fucking judge this battle, so I'm gonna have to do a pseudo breakdown and actually take my time and say why yeah. who I think won. Um, I think Pegasus was just like controlling the crowd a bit more. Um, Scholar had a few drunk fans in the crowd that kind of like stopped the rest of his crowd from feeling his shit. Um, it didn't influence my decision at all, but I think it definitely influenced the crowd. And um, Pegasus just seemed to control it. Fucking first, second, and third. Scholar probably got the second of those. Um, go look after your daughter, and you'll walk her down the aisle one day, and you you won't be rapping anymore, but you'll be happy. Um, that was fucking dope. But Hex just seemed to have um, more experience under pressure, um, and just fucking hit hard with those bars. The crowd was going crazy, so I think he deserves it. Yeah. All right, you know what battle you just saw? So I'm gonna say a little bit. Um, Fucking finals and what a fucking final, man! Those two cats, fucking, they've made the league what it is, man. Over the past year, I've got so much respect for them both. Break down the battle. In my opinion, um, first round, I gave uh, I gave Higgs the first round. Um, uh, just judged on more longer to be. I thought Scholar might have fallen short of their, their sort of time in the first round. Um, Higgs might have seen longer, but there was a lot of crowd. We were not taking the crowd fucking reactions into play when we time it. So I okay, gave the first round of Higgs. Second round was different. Scholar came a lot more stronger. Had punchlines that were fucking hitting the, the, the family, the sort of personal ones, you know what I mean? And, 
then the sort of flips that he was doing in amongst it was fucking crazy. Peaks had a good second round, kept it going after a little pause in the middle. But I gave the second round to Scholar. So it came down to the third round for me. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Higgs had better a better sort of crowd, sort of, what, what do you call it, you know, when you say something and people like it, it's something I don't have, but everyone hates me, but you say something and the crowd, you know, they all, um, relativity with the crowd, that's what it is, everyone saw the relevance to what he was saying and stuff, whereas well, they had the bars, but they were just falling short of that sort of fucking wall, you know what I mean, like, you'd feel the bars, but I just thought heads were over the top, so, I just think preparation-wise for a final, for a grand, I just think heads did a better job at the end of the day in that third round. So I give it to Higgs, just both those guys are the shit, one ounce all day. Fuck you. Yep. Yeah. Yo, so Hori Puck's the general, and then Whistler being it now. Uh, yeah, we just watched Scholar versus Higgs, the uh, one ounce championship finals. We're all heated. Um, my views on the battle was that um, I thought Scholar bought it a lot more than he did last time against Higgs. But Higgs had the veteran thing going on, you know what I mean? He was really relaxed. Like the bro said, he had the crowd on the palm of his hand. And most of the battle, I know Scholar normally does that, but this time I think, you know, he got too many drunk people or some shit. But he definitely came hard and he definitely brought his A calibre. But I'm gonna have to go with Higgs today, just in terms of controlling the whole shit, getting better crowd reaction, a few more lines, but a little bit more consistent, and um, just delivery and this whole, whole shit, man. I, uh, man, love to scholar, you know what I mean? Hopefully, you know, come back, don't let the shit decide on you, but I'm gonna give that shit to him, man. BTG for one. Yeah. One ounce, champion edition, we at the end of our final battle, make some motherfucking noise! Judges have deliberated upstairs, like away this. from everyone. That was a fucking good battle, man. Very scary. Straight up, like fuck. both these kids as well have made this league fucking pump up. Make some more noise for them, yeah! Yeah. All right. Look at that shit. The winner will be announced tomorrow. Fuck you. No, no. <laughs> Dino's gonna, Dino's gonna announce it like a G. Yeah, man, the winner, unanimous decision, is Higgs. Make some fucking noise! Yeah. Yeah. It was the toughest fucking decision yeah, that yeah. for us. Alright, make some more!